You know, there's a whole lot of punching going on in Leathercraft. My name is George Hurst and my goal today is to make punching easier and better for you. I would like to take a moment to talk about the items I have on the table here before me. Uh, number one, the most used thing in Leathercraft is the ordinary rotary punch. This is a, an economical model. This is a, a more higher quality rotary punch. And of course, we have drive punches in various sizes. This is a mini punch set. There's also a maxi punch set that has uh, interchangeable tubes for one handle. And of course, we, we need a mallet to, to do the drive punches. You're gonna find that beeswax is very helpful, as is a strop here made out of a piece of cardboard and some jeweler's rouge. And I have here also a piece of 600 grit wet dry paper. I have here the Economy a Rotary Punch and uh, you'll notice that it, it turns to find the right size. You'll hear it click and then back off just a little bit so that you're sure that it's seated properly. Now, the best way to punch is locate where you want your hole to be and do a quick snap. Then twist a little bit and you'll see we have a nice clean hole. Now I have here the Al Stolman brand punch, which is uh, all stainless steel and uh, much better quality overall. And you'll notice now that when I punch with it, it's a lot easier to do and I get a clean, nice hole. I have here on the table uh, the basic equipment we need for punching with drive punches. The only problem with a rotary punch is it's somewhat limited as to where it could punch. It can only go in about an inch or an inch and a quarter from the edge uh, of the leather where a drive punch, you can punch anywhere on the leather. All you need is a drive punch, a good punching surface, and I definitely prefer the poly. Uh, it helps to have some beeswax. And I have here now, and I'd like to show you what I, what I do with the wet dry paper. I have a piece of it here, I'll just kind of fold it over and I can feel the punch in my fingers. Now I can twist the punch, whether I use the mini or the regular drive punch, and I can polish and shine up the sides of that punch. This will make it not only punch cleaner and easier, it'll come out of the leather much easier. Now I'm also taking my strop, which is a piece of cardboard with uh, jeweler's rouge rubbed on it, and I'm continuing to polish my punch. If you do this to all your punches, your punching will be much easier. And then before I punch, I will go into the beeswax. Now that I've got my uh, punch prepared, and I've uh, got some beeswax on it, I can place it in the proper position and strike it with the mallet. Now, I went through real easy, and you notice how easy it came out. You'll also notice, as I punch, I only go through as far as I need to go. It's not necessary to go far into the board, just as far as you need to go to get a nice clean punch. Very important to have beeswax and to polish your punches. This is true even with your revolving punch. Let me do a quick review for you. Uh, punching is, in my opinion, best done with a drive punch. It's very important. You'll notice I have a piece of marble or granite here. I have the poly punching board. I use beeswax and I have polished my punch. And this is why it's so easy to punch and easy to remove my punch from the leopard.